everyone and welcome back to the channel. Quite a few people have been asking me how I colorize videos so I thought I'd do a short tutorial on it here. It's very very simple. If I can do it anyone can do it. I'm not even sure I understand what I'm doing but I know what to do and I'm going to tell you what to do yourself and you can colorize your own videos or other people's videos for free like this. Uh, the, the link is here. I'll put it in the description. Uh, I'm actually using the pro version, which costs me about £10 a month. You don't need to do that. It's because I do a lot. As I said, I've probably got about 150 now, something like that. Uh, it is not, is it faster? It's more stable to use the pro version, and you seem to be able to do longer videos with it, although there are still problems which I'll mention in a bit. Uh, but you don't need it. I use for, for a long time, I was colorizing videos without using the pro version at all. The free version is perfectly good with certain caveats that we'll come to in a moment. So this is the screen you get. Um, if you're able to, it is good to pick the high RAM runtime. If you don't have that, then just have the standard one. I don't know what difference it makes. I've never done a comparison, but if I'm offered ordinary RAM or high RAM, I'll take the high, thank you. And we just come down here. It's just a question of ticking some boxes, really. First box is this one here, and you get a warning. Uh, from Google, which is not a problem at all, it's just a technical thing, and you run anyway. The Oldify is a very well established piece of software, and there's no problem at all with clicking on that. It's best to wait for it to do its thing, and the box ticks in a moment. There it is. I think if you're impatient and you tick ahead, it still works, but I like to do it. As properly as I can. The next box is ticked. This is easy, isn't it? It doesn't actually get much harder, to be honest. Tick again. Do I understand it? No, I don't. Ticking in order. Next one is ready. believe you can run this on your own computer if you have a good enough computer and you know what you're doing, which I don't. This takes some time to run, to load, whatever it's doing. Okay, so jumping ahead on that bit, just wait for that to go to 100%, which is done. Box is ticked. down to here and you are ready can you believe it now you need a link to a an, an online site public site like youtube various archive sites work as well i use youtube uh anything more than about 15 20 minutes you're going to have problems with it uh, even though i have the pro version i tried a 30 minute video yesterday and it just crashed and then I tried a 15 minute video, which normally works for me, and that still crashed. And that's with the pro version. So you must be prepared for some frustration along the way. So the only choice you have to make, the choices you have to make, is whether you want it watermarked. It's quite nice to have that in the corner. It just shows that you've done the work on it. But you can untick it or tick it. It's up to you. It doesn't make any difference. Render factor. As it says in the descriptions, uh, this is kind of picked as a kind of midpoint. If you've got a low quality video, you want this 21 or lower. Uh, otherwise, it's going to get all kinds of weird artifacts on it. It's going to be sort of a mixture of black and white and colour and one thing and another. And the colours are more intense and the contrast is more intense. If you want a more subtle effect and the video is reasonable quality, you can up it. For some of mine, I use 26, 27. I don't think I've ever used more than that. For the slightly lower quality ones, I use 24. If I'm in any doubt about the quality, I just leave it at 21 or 22. And I'll go for, I've got a reasonable quality clip to show you in a moment. So I will put it at, let's say, let's go push it to 23. And you might get less saturated colors. So it's an experiment. So you might spend a lot of time producing this and then at the end not be happy with it and have to do it again. There's a, a feature down here. See how well render factors perform on a frame. I could never get that to work. So I'd, and I also want to see it in a small clip. So I've never used that myself. And I'm ready to go. And all I do is click here.
I'm using a seven second video to show you, so this is going to be very quick. In reality, let's say you use a 10 minute video. This can take a long time, like five or 10 minutes just to load here. And then this bar here, which is going to be done in one minute 43, which is perfect for our purposes, can take four hours or three hours or two hours. Um, yesterday I waited four hours. And when I got to the download stage that I'm going to show you now, it still crashed. I don't know why. So be prepared for frustration. Also, sometimes it pops up during this process to say, are you still there? Are you a robot? And if you haven't noticed it and you left it alone for a few minutes, it will disconnect you again. So you have to keep an eye on it. So this is not an easy process in terms of time. You have to keep your eye on it. But the computer can be used. You can still go ahead and do other things now. That's not a problem. And here we are, done with colorizing a black and white clip. Next thing you have to do is wait for this little thing to stop spinning. Stop me if I get too technical. For this to stop spinning. Don't do anything until that stops spinning. Otherwise, as I've discovered to my cost, you mess everything up. That can take half an hour, 10 minutes, five minutes. It's usually about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes for using a five or 10 minute clip. Right. There will be no peace in Atlantis. There will be no peace in Atlantis. Yeah. Now that's interesting. That's never appeared for me before. I had never had that before. It must be because it's a very short clip that the system can handle showing it to me. So ignore that. That does not appear when a video is more than a few seconds long. But we still need to download it anyway. So normally you will just get a blank screen here. But the key thing is that that has ticked, everything stopped moving. And now we go over to here, we click the files, we click deoldify, we click video, we click result, we click on video MP4, we right click and we download it. And you'll see here a little circle going around in yellow. That can be very, very slow. That can take an hour, by which time the system's probably crashed. If it's a short video, it'll work. And there it is. It's downloaded onto my computer on video. Now we're going to have a look at it. So here's the comparison, the before and after. See which you prefer. There will be no peace in Atlantis. 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 And there it is. It's as easy as that. Give it a go. I'll be very interested to see how you get on with it and hope this has been helpful. And thanks for watching.